The Fed's Jerome Powell is literally coming after your job and millions more here in 2023. How worried should you be and why the heck is this happening? Well, this senior executive is gonna share the inside scoop and how you can protect yourself from the storm that is brewing. We're covering that and more, so let's go. You've probably heard by now that the US economy and even the world economy is not doing so well. News outlets, finance experts, university scholars, and analysts everywhere are saying that we are headed for a serious recession, and that could have very serious repercussions for you and your job. So how did we get here? The one word answer is inflation. It's a nasty word that just means the price of almost everything is going up a lot. But what caused this inflation? Across the history of the world, most inflation has been caused by one thing, the overprinting of money. But can you think of any time recently where there was a lot of money being printed? Well, oh yeah, the plague. Did you know that more than 50% of all the US dollars in existence were printed in just the last two years? It's sad but true that the money printer has been working nearly nonstop. But how does this affect your job, you ask? That's a great question. In order to reduce inflation and skyrocketing prices, the US Federal Reserve and its chairman, Jerome Powell, need to increase interest rates, which is the cost of borrowing money. US interest rates currently sit at about 4.7%, while our goal is to have interest rates at about 2%. The crazy thing is that many in the U.S. are still spending money like drunken sailors, and this is helping to keep that nasty inflation at very high levels. So Jerome Powell needs to keep jacking up the interest rates, and this all is going to lead to one thing, the demand destruction by increasing unemployment. So how bad is this going to get? Well, we never know until it's actually happened, but several experts are suggesting unemployment could go from a historical low of 3.5% to about 4.5%. And this translates to about 1.2 million jobs lost in just the first half of 2023. So do you think we're headed for a recession and how bad is this gonna get? Share your thoughts below so we can all get a little smarter from what you know. Now, before we talk about what you can do to protect yourself and your job, my name is C. I'm a senior executive by day and a secret YouTuber at night on a mission to revolutionize your career and your income. While other executives are focused on themselves, I'm working hard during the day, but also working hard for you during the night, sharing how to accelerate your career success and cutting through the BS. This disguise allows me to do just that and still protect my family and my own career. My goal is simply to help as many people as possible accelerate their career success and maximize their money. So let's go. So what can you do to protect yourself from potential downsizing, whether there's a recession or not? Here are three steps to do just that. The first and the biggest thing you want to do is to make yourself as indispensable as possible. That's the key word, indispensable. And ideally, you'd want to be as indispensable as possible before a recession comes. But this works whether we're in a recession or not. You see, when there are layoffs, companies typically focus first on positions that are less needed in a recession. But once those are gone, they often follow up by targeting people who are less valued by the organization. So to become truly indispensable, you need to become as valued as possible. So how do you do that? Well, to be frank with you, you could be friendly as hell with the folks in leadership, or you could deliver massive, massive value for your team and your organization. I'm not talking about a little bit of value. I'm not talking about just your goals and objectives. I'm talking about delivering massive and measurable value that is important to your team and your company's success. Here is just one shortcut way to do just that. It's one of my favorites and it's a process called benchmarking. In a nutshell, benchmarking is looking at what the very best in your industry do to be successful. How they do it, what processes do they follow, 
then bringing those concepts into your organization. You want to develop a plan to get from where you currently are to where the benchmark in your industry is, to go from current state to that benchmark state. Because you're following a proven path for success, this can often be done faster than you think. Once you reach the benchmark, you can become even more indispensable and more highly paid too by going beyond the benchmark, leveraging your team's know-how and a little bit of brainstorming to do even better than the benchmark in your industry. By the way, this helps you to become the new benchmark in the industry and then everyone else is gonna be looking to you on how things are done. By the way, I've got more on all this in the free training in the description, so be sure to check that out. So the second way for you to become truly indispensable at work is to focus on your team and their success. Not only do you want to become a leader that they can trust and look to as an example, but help them to achieve more success for their career by developing their abilities and helping them to transform into a small army of massive value drivers. Here are a few more ways to do just that. Help them gain the training and development needed to be successful. But here's the trick. Provide training and development not only for the current level, but also the next level in the organization. If they aspire to grow in their career, they will gobble up this coaching. Another thing you can do is to coach them on how to maximize their performance for their current level, but again, also for the next level in the organization. This will help them perform even better at their current level, and again, make them better prepared for promotion and earning more money. Here's another tip that will bring you broad appreciation from your organization and help you become more indispensable. And that is to develop and implement a really powerful team empowerment tool called a career ladder. A career ladder is a document that's shared with everyone in the organization and it spells out exactly what is needed to be successful at each level of the organization. Not only that though, it also provides the playbook for what is needed to reach the next level or two in the organization. You see, rolling out a career ladder is incredibly powerful and always helps your team to maximize their success. By the way, you may want to partner with your HR business partner to roll out a career ladder and this visibility will make your value to the organization well known across the whole organization within the leadership team. Hey, I'd love to hear about your best tips on becoming indispensable at work. Share them in the comments below to help everyone else that watches this video. I can't wait to read what you've got. So let's jump right to the third way to make yourself indispensable at work, and that is to live by the golden rule of leadership. What's the golden rule of leadership, you ask? Well, the golden rule of leadership is, well, it's the golden rule. Before you roll your eyes at me, there are a couple of great reasons to live by the golden rule of leadership. First, don't you want to lead people in a way that empowers them and gets them to buy in and get behind your cause? Of course you do. Besides, you don't want to be the fish that swims against the tide and fails or be that guy or gal that is just a to work with. Second, if you follow the golden rule of leadership, it's also powerful in that it helps us to overcome some of our leadership weaknesses. Look, we all have weaknesses. I know I certainly do. So when you find yourself challenged by a situation, you can use the golden rule of leadership to help you. Imagine if a well-recognized and a truly exceptional leader were here right now in this current challenge that we're facing, what would they do? It's not that hard to imagine and then you can take what they would do and do it yourself. And before you know it, you will be that truly exceptional leader. Now, if Jerome Powell doesn't take your job, then it could be a matter of time before AI and ChatGPT does take your job. So click here to see how AI will impact thousands, even millions of jobs, and I'll see you in just a second.